guys, California Hunting Bros here, and today I'm going to be patterning my 20 gauge shotgun for the upcoming turkey season. So I have two different types of ammo, one of them is for duck and one of them is for turkey, and I'm going to go over which one's better. I'm going to be shooting at 30 yards with my factory modified choke. Alright guys, this is the first load Luke's going to be shooting today. It's a 3 inch shell, 7 8 ounce load and it is a shot four and this is shooting 1550 feet per second so we're gonna see how this patterns through his 20 gauge okay ready? Yeah. whenever you are thirty yards alright guys here's the Kent fast steel at thirty yards and we counted roughly the BBs in the head and neck area and it was seventeen so as you can see there's BBs all over the paper they're um, not goop the tightest, but we are shooting with a modified choke here and at 30 yards, so that's expected. There's a pretty tight group down there, but um, now we're going to see what happens with the uh, turkey load. So here we go. Alright guys, this is the next load that Luke's going to be shooting. This is the heavy metal turkey load. Um, it's also shot four, and this stuff is very pricey. It's about $20 for uh, five shells. Um, it's a little bit of a slower round at uh, 1,250 feet per second, um, but we're going to see how this patterns at 30 yards as well, and then we're going to see if it is really worth the money to go with this turkey load, or if uh, good old duck shells do the job. So let's see how this patterns. That looked better. Yeah. Alright guys, this was the first Kent Fast Deal, and we had 13 BBs inside the kill zone. Alright guys, this is the second Kent Fast Deal, and we had 17 BBs. And you can see there was a really tight grouping towards the head. Heavy metal, and it had 17 BBs in the head. But we think my sh shot might have been a little bit over this way, because if this was here, that would have been good. Alright guys, this was the most BBs inside the kill zone, and we had 18. This was the second heavy metal. So as you can see, there's not much of a difference from both ammo brands. I personally think they would all be a dead turkey, and so it's up to you if you want to pay the price for heavy metal. This was $20, so that's pretty expensive for five shells. But I didn't notice a big difference. Thank you guys for watching.